Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Texas Model Home Tours. I'm your host, Alex Piak with Evolve Real Estate Group. Today guys, we're in Frisco, Texas. We're in Lexington, the new phase of Lexington, and we are gonna be showcasing the John R. Landon, the Diana floor plan. This model home behind me is absolutely gonna blow your mind. It is one of the nicest homes we've showcased. The model home is a five bedroom, five bath, plus half baths. It's 4,300 square feet. It's a three car option. This is their elevation D with the stucco. This plan is gonna start at $1,355,000. And obviously from there, you can do your upgrades and build outs that you choose in the design center. Now listen, if you're thinking about building new construction, make sure your first step is to connect with us. Let us introduce you to the builder. We'll be able to get you access to discounts and incentives, including interest rate buy downs, design center credits. Right now we have incentives going up to $30,000 or more in some of our communities here in North Dallas. So make sure you reach out to us first before you start your home search. Now, if you're thinking about relocating to the area, you're an out of stater, below is a link to our brand new Discover Dallas relocation guide. It is your guide to everything you wanna know about living here in Dallas. Make sure you download that below. Let's head inside, let's start today's tour. Beautiful John R. Landon, the Diana floor plan. This is their estate series. This is their upper end luxury product here in Lexington. I cannot wait to show you today's home. Let's head inside, let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome inside the John R. Landon Diana model home here in Lexington. We've got beautiful entry here. As soon as we walk in the doors here, great sight lines up to the second story with this spiral staircase. I'm gonna swing around so you can get that perspective from the front door. The wall to the left, that'll be closed off. Those are garages currently be using as the sales center. But as you enter this home, in the front half of the home, as we make our way back here, you're gonna see this is a three car garage. So it's got what they call a swing garage. So a two and a one. Here is your beautiful walk in from the garage. You've got your laundry utility room in here. Done a great job outfitting with all the upper cabinets, the lower base with the extra sink. So you've got a great room. And here you've got your mud area, kind of kick off your shoes, hang your coats. And as we walk in, so this would be one of your entrances from a garage, you're gonna have your home office. Again, this is being used right now by one of the sales reps, but you've got a beautiful office here. Lots of natural lights pouring in with the three windows that they've added here. They've done some wood vertical trim pieces here along that back wall. We've got the floating shelves, really cool chandelier here as well. You can see the overall size of the room, plenty of room in here for a desk, some additional seating. We've got our double glass French doors. And then up front is gonna be one of the bedrooms here. Again, very well decorated. They've done a great job with the staging. We've got the slotted wood accent wall. We've got a very nice size room here, solid eight foot doors. This room does have a full bath with the stand-up shower option with the seated bench. Great for having an extra guest room downstairs on the main level, as well as still having plenty of storage with this walk-in closet. Okay, let's continue and make our way through the home. I love these light colored hardwood floors. Give you another view of the spiral staircase. Okay. 
Here's your formal dining. I love the wood accented walls that this builder has done in this model. Again, a lot of that is going to be upgrades and things you can do at the design center, but this gives you a great idea of the overall size. Here we've got the trade ceiling. Looks like they've added some wallpaper. Beautiful chandelier, seating for eight. This fully walks around to the kitchen. We're gonna come back to that when we tour the kitchen because one of the cool features about this home is the double staircase. So we've got this beautiful spiral staircase greeting you at the front entrance of the home. But then there's another secondary staircase in the back. So as we move on in, take a look here at your soaring ceilings. That fireplace with that marble tile from floor to ceiling, absolutely stunning. That is your main focal point of this room here. Here's good perspective of the openness. You've got plenty of storage going in under the stairs. They've done a great job in maximizing storage. You've got your double sliding doors. Each one of those opens up so you get a nice open indoor outdoor feel. Take a look at these ceilings again. Let me give you another perspective here. Look at that. That marble, that white with those gray tones going through. Beautiful, nice large living room. Then here's where we open up to our kitchen. Take a look at our little coffee area here too. Definitely don't want to miss this little piece here. We've got our wine refrigerator, coffee center, floating shelves. And you'll notice as well up here, we've got that beautiful open Juliet balcony. Man, look at that floating wood ceiling there. That's beautiful. It's these higher end little touches. That's the John R. Landon signature here when we're talking their luxury brand. Check out this island. It's got the nice waterfall edges. Again, that is a staple when you're talking about luxury. It's got that brushed brass gold color fixtures. Here's your built-in Sub-Zero refrigerator. So many of you guys have commented on some of the other luxury homes asking, hey, where are those Sub-Zero, those flush mount appliances? And here you go. We've got double oven and microwave built in here. Lots of cabinets. Here we've got the extended uppers with the accent lights. You've got your six burner gas cooktop. I like these little windows, these picture windows that they put underneath the cabinets. They're letting in a lot of just beautiful light. Even though you've got your under cabinet lights, Still a more of a natural light. It's those fine touches that we definitely want to make sure we're showcasing on the tour. And here's your breakfast area. So again, seating for six, full windows surrounding this here. And take a look at this. You guys always ask to see the pantry. Here we've got our barn style doors hiding our pantry. Lots of built-in shelving. 
and storage. And then the nice touch with the barn doors, keeping it nice and secluded and hidden. Take a look at that with having the LED accent lights up there kind of gives it that floating look. And then let me walk you back over here because this was the area I was talking about. It walks through to your dining room. Take a look at this nice wine rack that they've built, all custom built in, great use of space and again that's going to walk right on back to our everyday dining area as well as our secondary staircase leading to the upstairs so when we go upstairs we'll show you again where that staircase is but it's nice having the staircase bring you right back down to the kitchen because if you're upstairs hanging out in the movie room game room most likely if you're coming back downstairs you're probably coming back down for a snack so let's head on to the back of the house and here we have our primary suite take a look at this massive primary bedroom again they've got that vertical wood slots for an accent wall they've bowed out the back window giving this room about three to four feet of additional depth the tray ceiling where they've taken the same hardwood floor and actually mounted it on the ceiling it looks it looks awesome in person hopefully you guys are getting the full vibe here on the video but those little things when you tie it all together i mean this is beautiful depth here by adding out this bow window you add plenty of room for two additional chairs a nice little seating area this gives you a good feel for how big this room actually is. You've got a huge king bed, dresser, very large nightstands, and yet we still have all of this room to walk around. Take a look at that ceiling again. It's got your recessed lighting built in. Let's take a look at the primary bath. You can already start to see as we peek through the absolute huge soaking tub, the standalone. Here's our stand up shower, full bench seat. Again, with that marble, kind of that Carrera marble white with the gray tones going through. That's tied together on our vanity. Here you see we've got those brass door pulls. Take a look at the floors too. I love how they kind of carved out this little accent area right in the middle. Just lots of character, lots of beautiful touches. Here we've got three elevated windows bringing in light. Let's take a look at this light fixture. I think light fixtures really make houses. They just kind of change the feel Oh, take a look at that. The mini stacked kind of ceramic tile backsplash. I actually missed that when we walked in, but take a look. Let me give you a better view here. So that goes all the way up to the ceiling. And I like how they carried that, that quartz or granite countertop. They actually went up, it's about 18 inches, and then they did the stack. So. Lots of beautiful finishes here. And I can tell you one of my biggest gripes about these standalone tubs is how small they are. Guys, this one is absolutely huge. Plenty of room to get in there and spread out. So let's continue to take a look here at the rest of the primary bath. 
here we've got a split closet. So here's closet number one. I love this little built-in that they added right here into this space, little, some drawers, some cabinets, additional storage, and then we'll swing on over here where we've got another closet. And here we've got three levels of hanging. Can't wait to see what you guys think about this home. Luxury homes are definitely one of the funnest properties that we get to tour. And really when you are evaluating price point here in Frisco, the, the average home right now on the market is a little over a million fifty. So this isn't drastically, you know, the price is not drastically higher than the average home in Frisco at one point three five five million. Now again, there's lots of upgrades in this being a model home. So you could easily go to a design center and probably spend, you know, a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars depending on how crazy you want it to go. But again, for what you're getting from the builder, the quality, the square footage, the layout, this is definitely a very impressive home. Now here, when we get upstairs to the second floor, you can see the Juliet balcony, as well as that second staircase leading right down to the kitchen. We land upstairs to this open game room, sitting room. So you've got a lot of versatility in this room. Here you see they've got it decorated and staged as a secondary living room, little desk set up there, card table. Now let's take a look at our media room. Here we've got, this is a large, large media room. Media rooms are definitely popular here in Texas. Something that buyers do frequently ask for. And this room is huge. This is definitely one of the largest media rooms that I've seen. We'll work our way on back here. Here, we've got another full bathroom, beautiful ceramic tile. Here's one of the bedrooms upstairs. Nice little detail there under that bank of windows. They've added a little chair seat, put the cushion. That's a good use of space. I like that. And then full walk-in closet. Plenty of storage in here. Nice bunk beds. Girls rule. My daughter would definitely agree with that. So this bedroom is directly across from the full bath. Then we'll move back around the staircase to our second set of bedrooms. We'll go back here first. Huge bedroom. 
Okay, so if you are in the need of large secondary bedrooms, this checks that box. Look at the open space. I mean, that's a full or queen size bed. You've got a full desk in here. Let's take a look at the closet. There you go, nice walk-in closet, nice and deep. And then we'll head on to the bathroom. Here we have an ensuite bathroom in the bedroom. We've got the stand-up shower. Take a look at that tile. Pretty funky right there, I like it. Very unique here too, they've done gray on the doors in the baseboard so not your traditional white a little bit more character for sure than just the plain white design now let's head back here another awesome sized bedroom as you can see big enough to put a desk in. The two windows bring in a ton of light, representing Luca in the Mavs. Awesome basketball themed room. Let's take a look at the closet. Make sure we don't miss anything for you guys. Look how deep that goes. All three sides, okay. So right off the bat, we're checking the box on huge secondary bedrooms, a ton of storage. The upstairs, these two bedrooms are en suites with full baths. This one has the tub. Now again, when you're designing your own home, you're gonna have that ability to decide do you want tubs or stand-up showers in these secondary bedrooms, but We've got three bedrooms, three full bathrooms upstairs. The sitting room, card table, media room, great open concept with these Juliet balconies on both sides in the front and back of the house. Okay, well we came up the spiral staircase. Let's head on down through the secondary back staircase. Take a look at that wine rack, gives you another great view. Take one more peek at the kitchen. It's usually the most important, these rooms right here are usually the most important rooms of any home. Beautiful soaring ceilings. I love that fireplace, guys. Look at that, that marble. Just the look of that is very very nice okay let's head on outside let's talk a little bit more about john r landon some of the availability that is here phases pricing and what we're doing to help our clients when it comes to building and buying new construction Well guys, that wraps up today's interior tour of the John R. Landon Diana floor plan. I can't wait to read your comments. Leave me some feedback. What did you guys think about this beautiful home that we showcased on today's model home tours? What did you like? What did you not like? What did you change? Now, if you're thinking about building or buying a new construction home anywhere in DFW, make sure you contact us. We'd love to be your new construction real estate resource. We have access to discounts and incentives through lenders and builders that can save you up to $30,000 or more and get you lower interest rates in today's market that's making buying new construction even more affordable. So make sure you reach out to us. All of our contact information is below. A great first step is to schedule a Zoom link, a Zoom meeting with us, kind of a virtual in-person get together. Let us help you with that journey. Talk about the different builders and the different communities that would make sense for whatever it is you desire in your next new construction home. We appreciate you guys for hanging with us. We'll see you on the next model home tour.